Who knew? All right, guys, zoning into game three. Zath, talk to me about the GGWV, GGWP lineup. GGWP is... Uh, and they, he just did that to me. All right, anyway. <laughs> they're running Yamato, Kremlin, Triple Des Moines, Wusta, Gearing, Daring, and Yu Yang. Opposing them from the south spawn on behalf of QQ7. Yamato, Ohio, fronted by Stalingrad, Des Moines, Goliath. Interesting. Shimikaze, Shimikaze, Kleber, and Harugmo. Now, we have seen yeah. small, and I do mean small, small numbers of Goliaths in this event, Zath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We saw them use, we saw, uh, probably the most effective one I saw, and I think it was, I think it was KSC, way back on day three, on Northern Waters. We were talking about earlier that Goliath, they ran up the one line on Northern Waters that basically HE farmed out that Des Moines, you know, that like the, they like to camp at Des Moines there on the corner, that little island north of the ACAP on Northern Waters. I'll be, um, I'll be curious to see how they deploy the Goliath here. Well, for right now, it seems like the Goliath is heading off towards A. It almost feels like they're going to try to play it like a Venezia. <clears throat> does feel a little that way looks as if <clears throat> excuse me I can tell my voice is starting to go looks as if QQ7's main push is going to come through C Shima Harukumo, Stalin Des Moines and Yamato headed that direction mm -hmm. Triarch trying for the early pick of B with his Kleber probably going to get it Amatsukaze not interested in, in uh, opposing Nope, he's sitting there ready to back into B-Cap as soon as Triarch decides, I'll leave. Yeah, it's interesting. So GGWP focusing more on an, on an even kind of a split. 4-4, four, four, one in the middle. And, uh, you know, QQ7 focusing harder for C. Well, QQ obviously also working that that destroyer advantage, right? If you bring four destroyers, you better be you better be on caps quick. You better be contesting caps. Like that's that's what that's where you're those that's where you're going to get the points out of with those ships. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that because aside from Triarch going into to B cap with the uh, Kleber, I mean the other three destroyers are pretty far back. Fair point. Now, what's Duke running for range? He's running 20-kilometer torps, as well as Wreckful X and the other Shimikaze. Not terribly surprising. No, and the way that they're playing, it makes sense. They're, they're staying well off of radar range. And they're just going to go for the old luck chuck, cast the fish, and see what you get. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Triarch's Kleber, like... I won't say this feels like a mistake, but like Triarch's Kleber seems content to continue to stay here and contest B. Seems mm. to seems to sense that Amatsukaze is around. They don't know, but they seem to just believe that there's going to be a destroyer there eventually. And so, well, and so it just it. To, I will say to me, it feels a little bit like a waste of a Kleber. Mm. We don't know obviously what commander skills he's running. If mm. he does have radio location, then Amatsukaze will be the radio location target, which will tell him, "Hey, there's somebody up here." True. So, I I, I can understand sitting around there, but we we've seen players do this. They get B, they sit there in Marceau's or whatever. I I don't know that they're going to get much out of it, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Big Des Moines Death Snail crawling down the two line. Go ahead, Happa. I think Triarch had got spotted for a second there because he pulled forward and re reoriented to mm -hmm. uh, Matsukaze. He is lit. Amatsukaze can see him. They Triarch is definitely spotted, but he cannot see he cannot see Amatsukaze in return because, you know, Kleber. Right. Well, and nobody can see him anyway, right? Uh, nobody yeah, can nobody, shoot him anyway. Nobody can so shoot him anyway. Matter? So there's like there's no shells coming in, so there's no there's no rush. Coming up on five minutes gone, Woshi's Goliath kind of getting mercilessly farmed over here on the one line. One thing about Goliath, she's not fast, right? Yeah, that, yeah. Ship, that ship's not going to get away from anybody. This is not... Some a, Imato shells. Indeed. Henri, Henri Katrim, she ain't. I'll fall short. Just short. Yep. Wow. Now, 
We may have a little contact here between Duke and Kuroshio Kai. They're just about to pick each other up. There we go. Duke cuts his speed as Kuroshio is lit, and the Goliath, shell, the Goliath shells come in. Not much, though. Nope. You can see the uh, Bolt Des Moines now changing target. Oh, yeah, they target, have immediately changed targets. But, I mean, Woshi printing a new ship, but, man, just getting mercilessly farmed over here. Mm-hmm. Five minutes gone. QQ7 ticking up a lead. They own the B cap. Everything else pretty static here on game three. This is game three, right? Yeah, game three. <laughs> yes. I, I'm going to be doing that a lot, guys. Just get used to it. Four hours and 20 minutes in. We did We did 21 games last weekend. We're, we're already 21, 22 into this weekend. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. We did it's, 14 yesterday. Yeah. Pretty quiet. Not a whole lot to talk about, really. No, I, I find it. I find it interesting. I look at QQ7's positions, Ath. I look at this map. They look like they're set up to kite on both flanks. Mm -hmm. How is that a winning strategy? I don't understand. Well, they've got, they've got B cap, and they are ticking. So technically, they are winning right now. Yeah, but I mean, over the long haul, that's not really going to work, is it? I mean, it depends. If if they can keep both caps from flipping and nobody dies then it's gonna work right i mean if but they're about to give up a they can't stop it no they can't stop a but technically they are still in a point lead as long as c stays neutral or simply not capped now matsukaze took a bunch of damage there i think he got gunned down by triarch for a little bit yeah, there was a cross shot coming from um, Polarberg also that chunked him a little bit. Mm. Uh, it's interesting to see, you know, Triarch and him just kind of back and forth here on B cap, but uh, he just can't get positioned to do anything against Triarch. He's he's doing a good job of throttle jocking. Yep. Meanwhile, both sides, we just see the death uh, the death snail going on on both both sides of C cap. Um, but yeah, not, nothing's happening right now. Just a whole bunch of torpedo salvos and hoping for hits. Yeah, they've, they've been very successful at A, but, I mean, let's be honest, QQ7's basically giving them A. And then mm -hmm. yeah. all the forces they took to C, C's pretty static. Like, there's not, like, you look over, there's no ships on either side, really, even under any kind of threat of damage. This is the part when, if you've got the chat window, you tell. Just a reminder: there's 12 minutes left, and we're watching you play right now. <laughs> Can you do something? <laughs> Can you make a play? <laughs> uh, as I say that, here comes Koshio Kai starting another Death Snail, moving south in A. He's going to push Double O Duke away uh, from A. They, they're going to handedly grab this cap now with the Des Moines. Duke dumping torpedoes into the face of the snail. So that's always the hard question, right? Where are those Des Moines going to sit? Pals Where's the snail going to end? Alski's Harugamo now trying to farm out Love All Ships' is, uh, Des Moines. Just kind of spewing shells for a while. Looks like they lost sight of Love All well. Ships. They did. But they pushed him back. And it looks like Speaking. Wreckful might be trying to get up here and finally get onto the cap. Look at Crystal. Look at his position. Speaking of pushing... I mean, he's going far up there. Well, yeah, he's trying to get that shot on the Des Moines, I think. If I'm reading this right, the play is if you push the Yamato up, you continue to push the Des Moines back, that's going to let Wreckful into the cap. And then Christopher can, can eventually, if he wants to, he can pick up some good cover with one of these islands, right? Keep the torps away. At least that's the theory. Yeah. But the problem, as we've seen before, Yamato's pushing. It usually doesn't end too well. Agreed. We'll see. Eventually, the Wooster to his north won't be able to farm him. If he, if he, Unless he slows down. Looks like he's going to slow down. I think that's... He wants the shot. I feel like that's maybe a mistake. We'll see. Wreckful now going to smoke him. Yeah. Try to get him some cover. Shells from the Kremlin but coming in. He's mm, got to be careful. 
Peach is taking a torp. Wreckful's the one who's got to be careful now. Oh, oh yeah, yes, it torp, is. Those torps coming in. He's good. Wreckful's He's both. Should, yeah, they're both okay. Meanwhile, at A, those Des Moines Death Snail has moved over. Now they're heading towards B cap, not chasing uh, QQ7, who was expecting a chase. Look at Triarch with the, with the uh, cross torp here, hoping to catch maybe Matsukaze. It's not going to happen, but... Oh, wait. Is Matsukaze going to take a torp? Is nope. he going to think he's going to take a torp? Oh! oh! He is out! He took a Shimakaze torp. Wow. Yes, he took a Shimakaze torp. That was definitely not... Well, they had that cross drop. That cross drop definitely screwed him yeah, up. Yeah, the, the little, bit of, little bit of luck with QQ7 here. Big surprise. Oh, yeah. The vicissitudes of fate, as they would have said. <laughs> you know that? You know that? You know that movie quote, Hapa? Where's that one from? I don't know that you one. You don't know that it's one? <laughs> I you, don't know that you, one. You, sir, need to watch a modern classic called V for Vendetta. Oh, oh. man. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I, I've i seen that movie a million times that I don't know enough quotes from that movie, oh, mainly because... Uh, so many good uh, ones. Yeah. That's honestly, to me... My vernacular is not that, that good. To me, to me, that's Hugo <laughs> Weaving's best film. Like, period. Oh, totally. end, end of discussion. Now, uh, QQ7 has a sense that they are not being chased at A, so they are turning around, and yeah. they're just going to come up the butt of GGWP. This is... This is why you have to win the flank. Well, and I'm I, I, Christopher came around the island and he's getting farmed out again. And I'm still I'm like, why did you move? Well, there was no need for that. And yet here we are. Now, QQ7 on a ship lead, having bag C, up over 300 points, eight minutes to play. But they definitely have some ships under pressure, notably Christopher's Yamato. Mm hmm. Rhubarb pushing up pretty aggressively. They got to get something into that cap. D. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're they're basically going to meet the Kremlin, the two Des Moines, and and Kuroshio into the B cap. They're that's where yep. all of those ships are going to meet, and they're gonna they're gonna dare QQ to do something about it. Well, Duke is making a move on that two line now. Duke's in a position where yes, he can yes. because the radar cruisers are moving out and looking somewhere else. Yep. And they've actually yep. put a lot of good damage into Arches Yamato. Oh. Yep. I was just about to say that, so Arch is not going to do He's too flooding. well. He's flooding. He's got a perma flood. Well, Polarberg just took two, and you said Arch is flooding, then Arch is probably going out. No, Yeah. Still flooding. Yeah, he's dead. Yep. He is. Right there. That's Jeez. a big kill. That's a huge kill. That really, really does open up the A-cap. That's going to give those Des Moines something else to think about as more torpedoes coming in for Polar. Oh, man. Brilliant gearing work from Kuroshio Kai. Not sure who Polar was that means shooting Polarberg's at. Polarberg's going out. Polar took a shot at Love All Ships with his spotter plane. Yes. But Polar will burn out here in seconds as we're going to trade battleships over here at the A cap. Duke now Man. onto the A cap with a great hard cover from both of the radar cruisers. Yep. Christopher managed to survive as he's uh, continuing to get out. Now he's shooting rhubarb difference. He's, he's got a good broadside on him. What is Peachy doing? Peachy, he what is are you... getting sad. Oh, right my now. goodness. What I love about QQ7, they bent in a couple of places. They didn't break, mm -hmm. right? They pulled out of B at the right time. They let them have B, and then they, like you said, they shoved Duke and the Goliath back up the one line, back into A. Peachy's going out Peachy's right here. Going out. Taking a deep water torp in the stern. Yeah. That's a big kill for GGWP. Yeah, they need those win. points. QQ7's about to cross 800 points. There they go. Six minutes to play. And QQ7... Also, just farming that Des Moines. Yeah. QQ7 widening the lead because they have more caps. See Reckful putting up smoke for Polsky to move into. Reckful's radar now. With the with with say, between with the between the Yang, the Des Moines, and the Wooster, that is really uncomfortable. I don't think oh. I'm not convinced Reckful's gonna live. He's not. No. It's not no. happening. Oh man. 
Big mistake right there. Yep. He needed to go behind the island. Instead, he turned into the cap. That's going to allow Deer's gang to get back onto sea right there. Love All Ships has just, just taken it all game, right? All game they've been trying to farm him out, punch him in the face. None of it's worked. You oh. think he's playing a Salem, not a Des Moines. I know, right? Deer just took Deer just took some big <laughs> hits for his, he did. his Verm time. Is now Go ahead. Look at Verm. He's getting focused out hard now. He's got yep. two Des Moines and the Kremlin shooting him. Yep. He'll be out the he'll be off the board in probably less than 60 seconds, if not sooner. Remember, Stalingrad has lost a lot of its survivability between the um, the loss of fire prevention, the loss of basics of survivability, and the cruiser skill tree. She burns like a battleship, and Hermi is burning now. And there he goes. There he goes. Things starting to unravel for QQ7. Now down two ships, down a cap, upside down on points. Four minutes to play. Kudos to GGWP for getting back in this game, man. Didn't look I, good for them for yeah. a while. Triarch might be taking a torp here. I think it'll be okay. Ooh, love all ships barely dodging one himself. Triarch, what is is Triarch going for this? Is Triarch going for the suicide run on the Kremlin with a Des Moines there? I don't think he can pull this off, but it looks like he's decided he has no other option. He's going for he's it anyway. Health. He's going for the double kill. He's, he's gonna. Probably oh, you think so? Left oh, right. right between them. Yep. There go. There's yep. the right. Set. There go the right torps. There's two sets. Yo, she's slowing sides. down already. Here come the left this. torps. Big damage. Oh, he gets the neither. Got him. He gets not, neither. He's not of done. Them. He's not done yet. Uh, get, fire the guns. He's, he's burning out. Oh, right there, oh but there's Yoshi. Oh, 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 oh. They do get Yoshi. So they trade Triarch for a tremendous amount of damage. Not enough for a kill, yes. but man. Just not absolutely. A bad YOLO. Wow. No, that's as YOLO charges go, you could do a lot worse. Absolutely yeah. savaging. The GGWP battleship in B. But it's starting to... It's still kind of unraveling here for QQ. I don't... I think Christopher's going to be dead. They're not going to be able to punch out the Kremlin. No. Yeah, unfortunately, Christopher is getting DPS down here. Yeah. There he goes. Now a three-ship lead and 110-ish points and growing for GGWP. Polsky's about to die. Polsky's going out. Man. What a turn what of a fortune. Change. What a turn of fortune here in game three. QQ looked cool as a cucumber like they had everything figured out. They they Like I said, I liked how they bent, but they didn't break. And now, now they have definitely broken. That's right. Duke GGW now getting into B cap. That's going to slow down the cap a point gain. GGWP just turned Zath and just collapsed. Look at him. They just de collapsed, mm -hmm. like descended like piranhas on the surviving QQ7 ships in that portion of the map. Killed them all. Yeah. Rhubar may yeah, yet burn out. To get Rhubarb out here. Looks like it's going to happen. He's taking one last shot at the Goliath. They get him. That's points they need if they can pick up the pick up the cap and hold on to it for a little while. Oh, Ooh. his final salvo on the Goliath is very, very big. British 3D printer engage. <laughs> Radar going up looking for Duke. They've got him now. Love all ships will have shells on him in a moment. Here they come. Look how close. Look how close it is right now. Two minutes for either team to win. Yeah. Just about. But there's only a minute 15 in the game timer. Kuroshio Kai is the closest thing that they could bag to a kill, and I just don't think they're going to get it. They'll never spot him unless he wants no. to get spotted. No. They're about to shove one of the Des Moines back into the cap. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. They need If they can get a kill, maybe, but I just don't see it. Just don't see it. Well, she yeah, well, she got a decent hit on Isle of All Ships. But... Well, she's going to barely dodge this torpedo salvo. Goliath's blazing speed coming into play there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was sarcasm. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I like, Please hold up what? a sign next time.
And now Duke has decided, is he going to, I think maybe they've just, there's 15 seconds left. This is over. They can't yeah. score enough points in time. Nope. <laughs> GGWP. It's triumphant tour fire anyway. That's right. GGWP with the come from behind win claims game three. And we hear the, the, the clock coming down saying game over. Yep. Oh, that was a what? good. It's a good game. Yeah. Good yeah, game. 